Uncle Sam looking for love and the State Department trying to attract more followers on Facebook and Twitter. Those are just two of the many government funded projects highlighted in the 2013 Waste Book. Doug McElway looks at this year's outlandish spending. This year's installment of Senator Tom Coburn's annual Waste Book may make some in Washington squirm with discomfort. It documents profligate federal government waste like $125,000 to build a 3D printer pizza and more than $17 million in brothel tax exemptions. The Waste Book details how the Department of Defense is leaving 2,000 MRAPs, mine-resistant ambush-protected vehicles, behind in Afghanistan to be destroyed rather than delivered to other bases. Each MRAP costs $500,000 to build. It documents how Congress authorized the purchase of 21 C-27 transport planes from Italy, even though the military didn't want them. Stuck with the $631 million purchase, the Air Force mothballed the planes in the desert before any of them flew a single operational mission. Half of them were going to cut up and half of them were going to put in the desert. What do, what do they think about that? I mean, it doesn't fit with common sense. Nor do the spending habits of many other agencies. The State Department spent $630,000 to attract followers for its Facebook and Twitter accounts. NASA is spending $3 million to study how Congress works. The National Endowment for the Humanities received nearly a million dollars since 2010 to explore the origins of popular romance media. And while taxpayers have spent $319 million to build the healthcare.gov website so far, estimates show that more than twice that will be spent on publicity and marketing. Yet Coburn doesn't blame the agencies. He blames Congress. Most members of Congress are more interested in getting themselves reelected than they are in fixing what's wrong with the country. It is quite a read. If you get a chance, you should take a look at it.